Hey guys, guess what I'm behind the wheel of? Yep, it's the brand new C8 Corvette and Tommy's behind the camera. In this video, we're gonna give you a complete walk around, but first, we're gonna do a quick impromptu zero to 60. Here we go. Oh my. There we go, 3.3 .3 seconds, zero to 60. You wanna show them again, Tommy? Yep, there it is. And we did exceed the speed limit just by a hair. But you know, when you're in a new Corvette, sometimes you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet, Tommy. So what do you think of this car? Well, this is pretty incredible. This is a great experience because of what's back there. This is the new mid-engine C8 Corvette. And in this video, we're going over all the cool things you wanna know about this car, show you hands-on some of the new features and talk about that cool engine. Let's give it some beans again so I can... different drive modes Tommy right now I think I'm in track mode nope sport I'm in sport mode but we do have a tour mode and you adjust it with this right there yep so you got this little rotary dial here yep and you've got your fan blowing right on the camera look at that how cool is that it's got this little like cute thing that you move up and down yeah so take a look at this the fan actually has this little itty bitty kind of joystick control yep and speaking of joysticks like I said you've got this little knob here that lets you control the different drive modes and we've got basically almost six modes right we've got the basic mode we're gonna go yep yep we got the basic mode which is touring yep then you've got weather in case it's slippery mm -hmm. then you've got sport and you've got track and then of course you have my mode which lets you customize all the settings which include you know steering how fast it shifts uh um, what it sounds like what it sounds like and you've got this the z mode I've push never, the z i've never never pushed the z all right i just pushed the z Whoa, look at all that that happens. G-forces, oil temperature. <laughs> oh my gosh, I do love that sound of that small block V8 that's, what, putting out almost 400 horsepower and how much torque? Whoa, way more than that, Dad. Really? 490 horsepower. Almost 500 horsepower. Sorry, I've got a Mustang behind me, but we got to turn around here uh, because we have to go and park this car and show you guys what it looks like from the outside because... I just had an interesting conversation with the Jeep engineer. Let's see what the turning radius. Yeah, not bad, dude. Not bad. Reverse a little bit. Hit D again. Not bad for a Corvette. And look at this. Front-facing camera and rear-facing camera. I think I'm going too fast for that. Uh, I think you're going too fast for the front. Yeah. yeah we'll but there is a front-facing camera. We'll show when we stop. So... <laughs> I should stop doing that, but it is so much fun. Um, and really, that's what it's about, right? I mean, this is the first generation of Corvette, the eighth generation that has an engine behind me, mid-engine. And when I was talking to the chief engineer, he said that they benchmark cars like the McLaren, the Ferrari, um, cars that, you know, cost a lot more. And in a lot of ways, used to punch above this car's price class because this car starts Tommy at $60,000. Yep now this one you see here is an LT3 model so it does have a number of options on it and I actually do believe it or not have the sticker for this car right here in the glove box so you can see what the final price on this one is. There's the MPG 15 19 combined 27 highway which is crazy and total vehicle price $74,730. So a lot of options on this vehicle, but you can see Corvette Stingray Coupe 2020, exterior color is called torch red, interior is natural dipped, and then of course, eight speed dual clutch automatic is the only transmission option for the 2020 mid-engined Corvette. Now let me show the transmission here. You'll note that it is now a push button transmission. For park, you hit P, for reverse, you hit R, drive, you hit D, neutral, and of course, this M is fun because the M basically stands for manual, which means you can use these paddle shifters and the other cool thing about the interior Tommy is that the chief engineer told me that everything you touch if it feels like it's aluminum it's aluminum if it feels like it's leather it's leather they've really brought the standard of the materials that they use up to a world class I would say they sure did I mean take a look at for example the headliner here on the removable panel which we'll talk about in a sec but look how complicated that stitching work is and across the dash you've got floating panels here in the middle you have floating panels here on the passenger side and everything is stitched leather now what do you think of the square steering wheel you know I'm not a big fan I like this part but I'm not sure I like this part it's kind of weird I'm, I like holding kind of at 9 and 11 right and I really whoa 10 and 2 10 and 2 <laughs> I really can't do that 
Uh, I do like the fact that this little piece of leather right here is matched to the leather of the car. Usually that's red, right? That tells you which way is straight up on the steering wheel. And I actually really do like this HVAC control system. So you've got dual zones, uh, drivers up there, passengers here, and then you've got heated and cooled seats. It's really an elegant solution. Yep, so how this works is you can simply increase your climate control there, or you can also do it even on the screen. And there you have our front facing camera. So you can actually see the front splitter there is pretty low. Um, but because you have the camera, you know exactly when or if you're going to hit. Yeah, look at all look at all these different camera angles, Tommy. Isn't tons it, and tons of them. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah, reverse camera reverse, angles yeah. as well. Yeah, and then you can zoom in. It's really cool. There's a lot of different camera angles. And one of the things that you can do with this car, Tommy, is you can actually set kind of a pin in the navigation. So if there's a bump that you go over on a regular basis, it will raise the nose up by about an inch so that you don't scrape the front splitter. Yeah, that's a really, really nice feature. Should we show them the outside? Yeah, and before we do that, I just want to show them kind of a customizable um, display here. So I can obviously go to different... Uh, unclick Z, actually. Uh, I'm in Z, that's right. I can obviously go to uh, different um, displays here. In a second. Or click right. Maybe I gotta go this way. Or maybe you have to be in drive. No, maybe it shouldn't matter. Uh -huh. you have to, yeah, there you go. There we go, there we go. So now you've got uh, that one, that's your performance. Now we've got our trip, and so you can see trip one. We're actually getting 21.6, which is pretty phenomenal because I gotta tell you, I've been driving this thing hard. Um, besides fuel economy, you also have t lap timers. You have uh, all kinds of different uh, information that you can provide. So here are your performance timers. Yep, um, a your, G meter. Your G, yep, you have audio controls oh, here. Yep. Um, maintenance yep. information different options and then finally simplify so you can actually uh, configure shortcuts and the like and this is really one of the coolest ones right you can see the little v8 uh, and this car does have cylinder deactivation so sometimes you'll be driving along and you'll see the v8 and sometimes you'll be driving along and you'll see the v4 which is pretty cool yep so this is actually a 12 inch configure configurable cluster and this is eight inches yeah the eight inch is a little bit small um, I do like the fact that you have a regular volume knob, which is cool. And then, of course, if you're used to GM's kind of infotainment, then you'll be used to this and the shortcuts. Like, there's a navigation, there's your home button, there's another home button. But let's show them the back because that's really where the beauty of this vehicle lies, right? It's under the back... What do you call that? The back lid? The rear deck lid. The rear deck lid. Okay, let's go show them that. I'm going to turn it off and let's do a little bit of a walk around and show them this vehicle from the outside. Okay, let's go, Dad. So, let's take a look at the engine. So to get into the engine, there's a button on the door. You push it and then this simply lifts open. And there you see the 6.2 liter LT2 brand new small block V8. If you get the Z51 performance package or the performance exhaust like this car has, it's rated at just under 500 horsepower and I believe 475 pound-feet of torque. The only transmission option is a eight-speed dual clutch. But the cool thing about this engine is actually, you can see it anytime, all the time through the glass lid. And you get a really good size uh, trunk here. Uh, and we'll actually take the top off and show you how the top fits into the back of this trunk. Oh, here comes a really cool, look at that. So this is one of the really, there's 12 colors available for the new Corvette and six interior colors. That certainly is one of the more bold ones, although I think torch red is nice. And you see that, I'll try to zoom in really quick. That spoiler, that means they have the Z51 handling package. And let me show you something else on this car. You don't have to slam it, Tommy. All you do is just push and it closes itself. It closes itself. Absolutely. So quad exhausts in the rear and a bunch of different vents because of course being mid-engine, it takes a lot to cool this vehicle. To open the door, there's actually a little button here underneath and it's all electric. But of course, in the event of a total power failure or an emergency, you do have manual overrides there. And that is your release button to get out of the vehicle. Now, one thing they're very proud of is that it's actually a pretty small sill here. What do you think of getting in and out? You know, it's not bad, Tommy. Um, I'm usually a little kind of grouchy when it comes to getting in and out of especially supercars, but this one is not bad. It's actually very uh, easily accomplishable. And get this, dude, look at this. You have a frunk. You do have a frunk. It's fairly large. They say it'll accommodate your standard carry-on item. In this case, we actually have two camera bags. So one here, one on top, and some miscellaneous items. One of the cool things, I love this, is this cut line here on the trunk, the front trunk. This looks something 
um, straight out of like the B2 bomber, that kind of trailing edge wing design. But actually the whole plane is styled, the whole plane, the whole car is styled after um, airplane influence. So you see a lot of fighter jet influence and bomber influence in this car. Yeah, let's talk about the wheels and tires. I mean, why don't you go and show them what's on this one? I love those really uh, big, beefy brakes. We're looking at Pilot Sport all, all season seasons fours. On, on this yep. one. Yeah, and what size are they? They are 245-35 R19 in the front. Yeah, how about in the back? And then when you step into the rear, they actually up it to a 305-30ZR20. So it's an inch larger in diameter in the rear than it is in the front. And it really gives it kind of that cool, almost Hot Wheels-like stance. Now, a lot of the cars we've seen today have a black painted C shape here on the side. This one is body colored. And we've been, be, we have been getting comments all day driving this around that it looks like a new Ferrari. Yeah, especially in this red, I agree, Tommy. A lot of people think that uh, we are in something from Italy and not something from, Detroit. Uh, well, Bowling Green. Bowling Green, <laughs> Kentucky. Kentucky. That's right. <laughs> all right, well, I think it's come uh, to that time of the video where we go topless. Well, not me Yikes. and you, Tommy, but Yikes. the car. What do you think? Yeah, let's do that. While you get working on that, I do want to show you this too in the front. These are those front camera angles that you've seen. There's actually one there and one there. A couple large radiators on both sides. And I'll show you how to pull the removable panel off here in the center. Good work. So yeah, there are three basic levers that you have to undo, two in the front and one in the back. And then uh, this top comes off and stows in the back. So let me show you how that works. Do you want to pop the trunk? I popped it already, dude. Good work. Way ahead of you. Okay. I bet you I could do this by myself. This is a pre-production car, so please don't break it. That would be really, really bad news, I'm huh? Not, I'm not gonna break it. <laughs> and, uh, you just put it in here like so. Mm -hmm. There are little uh, holes that it snaps into. Yep. And then you push. I don't think you quite got it there. Nope, did I miss it? Hold on, I gotta make sure I got it in the little snaps here. There we go. There you go, nicely done. Look at that, and we are now rolling with this beautiful Nevada sun in our hair. Yeah, so now we can get a really good look at the interior. Yeah, show them. So the LT3 package comes standard with what can be largely considered sport seats. The uh, I think they're called the GT2 seats. There's a more standard seat in like the LT1. And then there's also a competition seat for those looking for the most aggressive interior. Yeah, so if you happen to be like myself, which is uh, big boned, Tommy, I'm going with big boned. Big boned. Uh, <laughs> yes, and you have three different seats to choose from. And actually the bolsters on this seat do open up so you can get a little bit more comfortable. Well, I mean, it is an American car built for America and this is a cool little feature. Little charging pad right here in the rear perfect for an iPhone, perforated leather in this car with the cooling function, which works brilliantly. I think, I mean, the interior design is just incredible. I'm also not quite sold in that square steering wheel, um, but just the material quality and the, the heft of all the controls is really top notch. Yeah, and check this out, dude, look at this. I like this. Look at the side airbag. You even have a side airbag that's built uh, into the seat itself, which is really cool. And then these uh, seat belts can be customized to match the color of the interior or whatever color you like. Yeah, there's a ton, a ton of different options um, from the front end lift to various interior colors, six interior colors to various seat belt colors. Basically, however you want your Corvette to look is what it'll look like. Yeah, and let's talk about numbers, right? Because this car is about numbers. So you've got just under 500 horsepower, but you've got a zero to 60 time of around three seconds. I think it's like 2.8 is the official number. Yeah, when you're not at 2,000 feet above sea level and you don't have two people in the car. Quarter mile is just over 11 seconds. Yep, and it's got a top speed of what, 194, I believe. Yeah. Which is not electronically governed. It's worth noting though, that to get those numbers, you do have to opt for the performance exhaust or the Z51 package, which give you the slight bump in horsepower. Yeah, and the other thing worth noting is uh, that uh, this car will be available very soon. They started production about a week ago as of the filming of this, and uh, they're gonna be hitting dealers in the next couple of weeks, Tommy, so maybe end of March, early April. If you've got an order out, yours should be uh, being made as we speak. How cool is that? Uh, it's super cool. And guys, we're gonna do a full video around this car. Um, so head over to TFL Car because very, very soon, we're gonna have a produced video and really dive into some of the cool things about this new Corvette. We have to do one more thing, Tommy. What? We have to give them the exhaust note. Yeah, give them the exhaust. Uh, how, how about if I, um, why don't we show it rolling and then I'll give it a little bit of the beans as I pull out of here. How about that? Yep. Sure.
browser. So there you can see it in yet another color if you so desire kind of a less flashy C8 Corvette. Of course available in white. Stop, stop, stop. Are, are you gonna make it? Woo! Yeah, you've got like four feet, just kidding. The one thing I do love about this car, Tommy, is I'm a big guy, right? Well, wide guy and 6'2". And usually when I sit in these cars, I have a problem because I usually look into basically the top of this A-pillar. And here I can actually see out the front of it, unlike the Viper or unlike some of the other exotic cars that I've driven. And the other great thing about the Corvette is, let's face it, it's kind of the everyman supercar. And by putting the engine in the back, Corvette has really... Hold up. What? Stop for a second. We're going to let this guy pass. Okay. Yeah, tell him to come by. Tell him to come by. Good. He's not going to pass, Tommy. All right. Well, we're just going to have to keep going. Yeah, just keep going. I think he wants to look at it, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. He really wants to look at it. I think he's anxious to see what I do when I pull out of here. Because, well, what are you going to do when you pull out of here? Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give it the beans. I'm going to put it in sport mode. You uh, could just hear that sport exhaust open a little bit. Yeah, and then I'm going to go... Uh, which way do you think? Left or right? You tell me. Probably right, huh? Into the sun. Yeah, but it's closer to the road. Okay, right it is. Okay, one sec. Yeah, it's like leaving cars and coffee, exactly. Okay, whenever you're ready. to get shown up by a guy in a Tacoma <laughs> that was pretty funny but I think it's a proven fact now that the new Corvette is in fact faster than a two-wheel drive Tacoma that's what I like to see well guys thank you so much for watching head over to tflcar.com because tomorrow we've got more Corvette video news